Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to turn your uh, 25 megahertz LC3 into a 33 megahertz LC3 plus. Now, on most machines, this is actually an overclock, so you're going to be taking a 25 megahertz CPU and 25 megahertz logic board to 33 megahertz. This may or may not be stable. Um, who knows? Uh, you can always revert back if you want to. But if you've got an a later model LC3 with the manual inject floppy. You can tell if you've got a manual inject floppy, you can just have this bulge here so you can actually get your finger in and stick in the disc uh, because these manual inject drives do not just suck in the disc like the auto inject drives do. But if you've got one of those, you may actually have an LC3 logic, LC3 plus logic board instead of an LC3 logic board. And you can tell real quick just by looking at the part number on the CPU. If yours is a 33 megahertz like this one is, it, i.e. it says 33 instead of 25 at the end of the part number, you've actually got an LC3 Plus logic board that's just been downclocked. How cool is that? So this, on this one, it's technically not even overclocking. You're just changing it back into the model it should be. And the performance increases you get from doing this are humongous. Because not only is the CPU running at 33, this thing's running at 33, and this thing does the RAM and the video. So your video goes faster, your memory accesses go faster, it feels like a totally different machine. In fact, it is a totally different machine because it also changes the machine ID. And that's important if you're running System 7.1, because if you're running System 7.1, you'll need a new set of system enablers or it won't boot after this modification. You'll need version 1.1 of System Enabler 003, or I think there's another enabler, like System Enabler 4 something. I forget. Anyway, it's not all that common. But uh, if you're running System 7.5, System 7, Mac OS 7.6, 6, or you're using something like I Wish I Were to run OS 8, you don't have to worry about the enablers at all. The enablers you need are built into the system suitcase. Anyway, here's how you actually do this. Uh, you take R14 and remove it. It's a zero ohm SMD resistor. Needless to say, you will need SMD soldering equipment and SMD soldering skills. This is not the place to learn. You don't want to ruin your nice old Mac. So you take R14, remove it, clean the solder pad off, and you place it on to position R74. Again, you'll clean up your work, make sure no stray solder balls or anything like that. It'll short out your Mac. And then you're done. That's it. That's all there is to uh, getting an LC3 Plus out of these things. And when you're done, you'll have the entire system running at 33 megahertz, including the video and the memory. It's a massive speed bump. You can really feel it when you're scrolling or doing other graphics heavy stuff. Let's not even talk about what it does with games. Man, that's just awesome. So that really is all there is to it, to uh, go to a uh, LC3, to an LC3 Plus. And you only thought Macs were hard to modify. Anyway, I'm going to put this back together and enjoy it.